Hello VR shoppers, it's time to get serious because this video is The Gear VR versus the Google Daydream I've got a 10 point system that's going to weed out the winner and point fun at the loser It's going to be some hard truths, it's going to be some interesting discussion Let's get on with it Okay, here we go. It's cost, which is more interesting than you might think. This is the 2017 model with the controller and the Google Daydream View does come with a controller. This one real to retails for 70 and this one on average does retail for about 99 pound. So quite a bit more expensive. So the first point, go to the Daydream View. presentation is a tough a tough point to call it really is i really love the styling of the gear vr box for a controller it's it's black it's stylish it's got all the information you need i just absolutely love it but the daydream view it's clear crisp white and little pull out tray with headset on for me that was an absolute winner i'm giving the point to the daydream view When it comes to build quality, this is a very easy point indeed. The Gear VR absolutely smashes it out of the park. It's, it looks fantastic, it's so well built. A lot of time and a lot of effort has gone into this. <sighs> Although with the Google Daydream View, I see what they were trying to do. I still think it's a bit of an epic fail. I'm giving the point to the Gear VR. When it comes to ease of use, um, I'm going to give the point to the Google Daydream View simply because, you know, when you want to do it, it's just that click in, click in, job done. Even, <laughs> even now, with uh, particularly with Samsung uh, S8 Plus, it's a real little fiddle to get into that Mac, and I'm sure, well, I'm pretty positive anyway, that they could have made it easier somehow. <sighs> I just think this is a lot better because you can, you know, set it all up to play your game in that without even putting it on your head before that. This just requires a bit more use and a bit more getting used to. And giving the point to the daydream view. When it comes to value for money, I really think it's a really tough call because I, I like the simplicity of this and it is a bit cheaper than this one. Oh, it's a tough one. I'm oh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it. I'm going with a gear VR. I just think the overall build quality and overall uh, experience gives a slightly better uh, value for money than this one. I'd rather pay that little bit more and have a much better quality experience than pay a little bit less and not have such a comfortable headset. When it comes to the point for the controller, for me, <laughs> And this might be controversial, but I'm going with the Google Daydream View. This slimline little pill just feels so nice to hold. It really does. It, they put a lot of effort into it. It's, it feels natural, responsive to hold. Each click feels great. Definitely. It's this for me. There was just no need for any of this. They've tried to go sort of Vive controller on it and I just don't like it. I don't like these two buttons being so close together. No, I'm giving the point to the Daydream View.
When it comes to the range of compatible smartphones, uh, this one might be a little bit controversial because I'm going to give the point to the Google Daydream View simply because um, the, the Samsung Gear VR is going to be stuck with the Samsung range of phones and despite having a lot more currently that work with it than the Google Daydream View I just feel that as time rolls on you're going to have a much much better range of phones and from different manufacturers that are going to work with this one but this one it's always going to be Samsung S8, S9, S10, S11, S15 as long as they keep going with it but this just about anyone can manufacture it for it so I'm giving it to the daydream view When it comes to visual quality and the quality of the viewing experience that you get, the Gear VR is the, the undeniable winner of this. Maybe, you know, you can put a lot of blame onto the, uh, onto the Daydream View headset itself, but I still feel that the, the Gear VR is the best looking system across a, a multitude of games and things that I'm talking about the best sort of quality looking games and things that I, I just feel that it absolutely steals the point particularly on viewing experience and comfort oh my god it's, the point doesn't even come close to the, the Google Daydream never mind on with the next point When it comes to library of games, um, it's a tough one to call, to be honest, because you could say that the Daydream View has the Google Cardboard backlog that won't necessarily work with it because they kick off that it's, it's not a Google Cardboard headset, but it's still got that range of games. This does have an absolutely phenomenal range of games already. Will it even out? I think if I think if I did this uh, same point system in a year's time or something like that, it'd be very, very different. And I really do believe that. But for now, the Gear VR gets the point. When it comes to best future prospects, we have to face a hard reality. VR isn't there yet and it needs a company that is willing to stick their feet in the mud and wade through until you get to clear waters ahead. <sighs> and we have to face facts that Google have a nasty nasty habit of testing things, Google Glass, things like that and then just lobbing it away when they get bored. Oculus Facebook on the other hand they are absolute sticklers and they do tend to stick their feet in until something works. I really do feel that the Gear VR has the best prospects rather than the Google Daydream view. But, in the, but at the end of the day only developers really can control who wins and who doesn't. So it will be down to them. So, sadly, it's a tie. In truth, the only true winner is us, the VR fans, the, the users of the, these experiences. Thanks to phones like the Samsung S8 and S8 Plus that are compatible with both systems, you can, you know, you don't necessarily, necessarily, I will add, pick between the two things which is good for good for the user but I, I do want to pick one I don't want to end it on oh everyone's a winner you know I, I, I do and to be honest I'm, I'm really struggling and I really am the daydream view 
uh, when when it's done right with games like Lola and the Giant and things like that oh my god it it's absolutely amazing and the problem that I have is that these are early days for the daydream view this has been out for about a year now early days for the daydream view and they're banging out really big titles already which is <laughs> which is for me really interesting like I say great for VR fans as a whole but I don't know as it stands right now I would pick the Gear VR only because uh, obviously <laughs> we have compatible phones but I just feel that it is the, the best current stable platform as it is you know you could say you know daydream view if you took this headset away and replaced it with the Bofum Majin S1 things are suddenly very very different and the points just start flying onto the Google Daydream and it becomes the clear winner but that's you know <laughs> that's not its headset uh, and I've no doubt that in the future someone will bang out a Daydream compatible headset that blows the gear VR clean out the water but not now like I say it's, it is just an absolute tough call but like I say I'm going with a gear VR I, at the moment at the moment I, I just want to stress that at the moment I like the comfort I like the simplicity of being able to find apps and games for it and things like that and the variety of apps and games and the quality of the experience from the headset and things like that will things change? I'm pretty certain they will. All I do know is that it's going to be an interesting year ahead for all VR fans with these two headsets and maybe Oculus bringing out their standalone headset. Oh my, it's going to be a great year ahead. It's already been a great year quite frankly and I just look forward to it and I hope you'll join me in the future of VR and things like that. Or you just see around, or you just stick around to see the epic fail of it. Either way, it's been a bit of a ride already. Either way, thanks for watching. And I'm gonna leave you with our sign up. And see when there's some cool VR tech just like what you've just seen. All you have to do is sign up to our weekly newsletter. At the bottom of this video, just click on this link here. We'll go to this page, put your email in, click subscribe and confirm you're not a robot. Unless you are a robot, then you're going to have to confirm it. And while it's not necessary to win, I will ask, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching.